this is mixed media mix up volume four part two this is the layout using the gel press that we learned about in part one of this video so what we're gonna do today is an ombre background that's my favorite technique that I've done so far on the gel press so I figure why not use my favorite technique when creating my scrapbook page so I'm using yellow medium orange and red orange and i'm doing an ombre effect so i'm starting with that lighter color and working my way down now i don't really know what happened maybe my brayer was wet i'm not really or didn't just get enough paint but i'm gonna go and clean the brayer off and i will add more yellow paint but i do go clean my brayer off because if i didn't then um and that's not in the screen obviously there you have it. If I didn't clean my brayer off, then it would have mixed in all the oranges with the yellow and I wouldn't have had the yellow. And the yellow is the main color that I wanted. I am scrapbooking this picture here from Animal Kingdom. And I love the grungy, nitty gritty um, decor at Animal Kingdom along with the bright colors. And so I'm trying to center my page exactly onto the gel press because I want the color to just infiltrate the whole middle of the page and I bray it just because I'm cleaning off my brayer. Nobody's going to see the back of this page. So I love how this turns out. That's exactly what I wanted. So there we have it. We have an ombre, almost like a sunset. Doesn't that remind you of the Lion King? Come on. Um, so I want it really bold. Uh, acrylic paint does dry really fast, but apparently not fast enough for my liking. So I did hit it with my air gun, my heat gun. And now I'm just going to use some black acrylic. And I just want to go through that chevron and I just wanted to peek out a little bit, um, each side of my, um, photo. So I use a distress brush and I keep bringing my photo over there to make sure that I'm getting it big enough, but not too big to just peek out from the tops and the sides of my photo. So I'm doing it wonky. I'm kind of making sure that it's not even. I don't want a perfect square. I want it um, uneven. And look how cool that is. Very bold, very bright. And it's just gonna peek out on the side. So I'm gonna do some splatters, cause obviously. <laughs> so I go in with some black um, shimmer spray, but then I also want white because I have that white border and um, I did mimic um, the black with the, I, I got a new sewing machine, you guys, and it is a dream. Um, and so I did that zigzag stitch so fast around the edge. So I was incorporating the black, but I want to bring in the white too. So I'm just mixing um, white acrylic paint with some water, watering it down and using it to splatter. And it was perfect. So I let that dry. And what I've done is I want to do a big title. It's going to say, I love you more than Dole Whip with rum. And so I use some thickers, but I also didn't have enough thickers for all that and or small enough thickers. So, um, those pieces are from a cut apart from paper phenomenons. Um, remember the magic collection and it is also a little bit grungy, which I love. And so it worked really well with this page. So I just fussy cut some of the ephemera out of there. And there's my Dole Whip. I use Dole Whip large and in charge thickers, um, glitter thickers. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that down. I, I don't think I'll go back through and um, glue it down. I might regret that later, we'll find out. Anyway, I run um, my die cut machine, my manual, Sizzix Big Shot, and that is the Concord and Ninth double cut alpha and then the little ones are a momenta alpha and so i it says i love you more than dole whip with rum i did not have a parentheses so i used that little smiley face die you see on the right and i used his smile as the parentheses so now i need more embellishments besides my cut aparts and i want the bright white so i grabbed these new stamps that i got from the cherry on top store and they're prima and they're to do with food and travel and so I'm going to stamp those and then a couple other circular stamps that are in my stash. I'm just going to stamp them in black and then um, cut them out and add them on the page as embellishments. I'm going to link down below with the first part of my video for the mixed media mix up using acrylic paint on a gel press. And also I'm going to link my affiliate link if you feel like buying your own gel press or any of the other products I've used. If you don't mind using my affiliate link for a cherry on top, I'd really appreciate it. Some of you have already been doing that and I do greatly appreciate it. So I'm using, this is the Stim, Tim Holtz stamping platform, using that to get a really crisp image. I'm also using black distress ink and I fussy cut those out and I'm going to just 
gather them up around my photo. I'm gonna add one at the top there. And then I go grab my Disney embellishment box and I have all these awesome simple stories, clear um, black and clear white stickers that I don't really use a lot because I have trouble, but they work perfectly on this gel press background. So you'll see me grab those in a moment and just add in a few hearts because it's a page about love, right? So why not? Oh, also there's a puffy sticker that I've um, been saving for a Dole Whip page. So I also add that in there. I'm just seeing where to put that and I go back to the original spot. I like how it looked down there in that embellishment cluster. I'll add some hearts and then I'll be done. I appreciate you guys watching. Check out the links down below. Come play with us over at A Cherry on Top. We have so many fun challenges in the message boards and the Facebook group. And Nash International Scrapbook Day is coming up. And we have so much planned prizes, all kinds of goodness. So join us, please. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.